screen here and made to run. Um, I'm going to do a series of videos uh, to help you while we're in lockdown um, identify the right sort of shoes, offer some advice and things like that when it's, uh, it comes to looking at running shoes because obviously I know at the moment you're going to have to go online and sort of find those um, the sh a shoe if you need a replacement shoe. Um, obviously you can go on uh, madetorun.co.uk um, and see all our stock on there or drop me a message if there's anything you sort of want and we, we can get access to it from any of the brands that we stock. Um, but obviously, you know, when you go to a store, when we're, we're back to the uh, normal in the world, um, and you can go back to stores and things like that, one of the main things that you uh, get, especially from a store, is a gait analysis. Um, now, you know, a lot of places see a gait analysis, um, or from a customer standpoint, you see the gait analysis as jumping on a treadmill um, and, and being filmed and then analyzing, analyzing that and seeing how your uh, gait is. But the, the video bit is just a small section of the gait analysis. The, the really important bit is actually discussing with you uh, your running history. So, you know, what shoes you've run in, what you've enjoyed running, what you haven't enjoyed running, um, any shoes that caused injuries, what injuries you've suffered. Um, and they don't necessarily have to be just running injuries. Um, you know, if you've, if you've broken an ankle in the past outside of running, then that's potentially going to affect how your gait is and, and how your ankle stability is. Um, so we sort of want to discuss that, and um, we also want to discuss what sort of running you're doing, uh, how far you run, uh, what are your goals, are you, you know, you're training for a marathon and things like that, because that's going to uh, decide, no matter what your gait actually comes in, what sort of shoe you're going to look at, because if you are going to marathons and ultra distances, you're going to want something more cushioned, um, whereas if you're going on the, the short side, you know, maybe only 5k and things like that, and maybe looking at sort of the speed aspects of that and things like that, then maybe you don't necessarily need as much cushion and you want something lighter and maybe faster feeling underfoot. Um, here at Made to Run, the way we do our gait analysis is we have a treadmill if it's throwing it down and things like that, and we, we can jump on there and do it. But I always think that uh, you know if you're not used to running on a treadmill, it's going to make you run a little different than you would normally do. And obviously, the whole point of the gait analysis is to see you run as naturally as possible. So what we do is we get you outside the store. Uh, we've got a nice little closed-off section of road, and we jump out there and we just run sort of 20 or 30 meters or so, and just see how you run. Um, and then we can jump back inside. Um, continue our discussion on, on your running and uh, see what sort of shoe you need and obviously the two main categories of running shoes is neutral and stability and I'm going to sort of talk about them now uh, clear up a little bit of confusion that I, I've heard uh, customers talk about and things like that when they've been given advice from other non-specialist running stores um, and then talk you through the different ways uh, that you can get a stability shoe and how the stability is designed and things like that okay so, neutral and stability, um, or some people might hear it cause, um, stability might be caused as support shoe, uh, both of those sort of terms, pretty much a similar sort of thing. Um, neutral um, is that sort of, there's no structure specifically designed in the shoe to sort of prop the shoe up, uh, work against the body's biomechanics or alongside the body's biomechanics to sort of create that sort of structure and strength within there, um, whereas in a, a stability shoe or a support shoe, that is the um, in a traditional support shoe, it would be uh, done by a medial post. Uh, so I'm just going to grab one example of that for you here. So this is a Saucony Guide, great shoe, really nice and cushioned. But as you can see, if I come a little bit closer uh, and move that lace out of the way, you've got this section here, slightly different colour. So you can see that on most support shoes, there will be a different colour through that sort of instep area. And that's what's creating that support. Uh, this is the medial post, so it's sort of a solid block, helps prop up the arch. So if you've got a flat arch or a high arch that's prone to sort of collapsing, you know, that's what that's sort of designed for. Um, helps sort of prop that up and stops your foot from rolling in. Um, so that's where the overpronation comes in, where the foot's rolling in. Now, in um, some of the other support shoes um, from some of the younger brands or some of the brands that have now decided to develop this new support sort of system, which is called a guide rail system. So Brooks um, have done that in their shoes and stuff like the Brooks Adrenaline. Uh, it's now on the 20th model. It was a big leap. They changed from the 18 to the 19 and added that guide rail system in there. Um, stuff like Hoka, Ultra, they've always had a guide rail system in there um, and then on uh, running uh, or on cloud um, they do their support in a slightly different way I'll have a look at that as well so let's have a look at the guide rail system uh, so Brooks Adrenaline 20 in the men's colourway there um, it's our summer sort of colour um, this guide rail system you can just see it uh, along here also comes onto the outside around the heel of the shoe so easiest way to think of that is um, like the rails in a bowling alley. So as you run 
and you start to overpronate slightly, you're going to hit this firmer guide rail system on the outside there, uh, oh sorry, on the instep there, and that firmer material is just going to try and guide your foot back into that neutral position. Again, the reason they've got it on this outside bit is for that over supination over on the heel, which again, you know, if you're running, you're running what you want is your heel, your knee, your hip, all in that straight line, so the forces are acting down in that straight line, and there's no pressure being built anywhere else. Uh, but obviously, if you are rolling in or rolling out slightly, you are going to cause that sort of, uh, you know, an imbalance within the forces acting on the on the body. And at some point along there, whether it be the ankle, the knee, the hip, you're going to start to feel a little bit of pain and things like that. And so that that's why you sort of look at a support shoe, and uh, for that reason. So again. That medial post props up the arch, props up the foot there, holds you in that neutral position. This guide rail system works like rails in a bowling alley. And then we've got our our on shoes. So again, you know, on don't class their shoes as support or neutral shoes. Um, I mean, if you go on the website, they actually do. There is the, the Cloud Stratus comes up as a as a support shoe on the on the on website. Um, but they don't like to go in for that labeling um, specifically. The way the support is done in the ons is through the cloud cushioning. So um, you've got a, a, a wider platform base coming onto the instep. It's slightly flared on the ons on the uh, instep there to give you a wider base. Um, so as you start to drop in, you've obviously got more material that you're pushing it that's pushing against the ground there and helps sort of guide you back in. Um, you've also got the heel cup. Or the heel counter, um, so as you can see there, it's quite a rigid, solid heel cup. Again, it's higher on the instep side than it is on the, um, the lateral side of the shoe. Again, that's providing that support there. And then you've got the lacing system as well. Um, so this lacing system, as you can see, there's a, there's a lot of little eyelets and things like that in there. It's also a star lacing system. Um, that's done to take pressure off the metatarsal bones, which are, which are a known areas for people to have built up pressure and things like that when they're running. Um, but that lacing system there allows you to sort of cradle the foot a little bit better and hold it more snug there to stop again that sort of rotation to the side there like that. Yep. And then obviously we've got neutral shoes. So neutral shoe, there, there isn't any of that structure built into the shoe per se. Um, within a neutral shoe, you can have completely sort of you know completely neutral. There's, there's there's nothing designed, anything to be sort of structurally in place or anything like that. Um, but then you've got some neutral shoes where there is just a little bit of stability within it just because of the way the cushion is designed. Um, so stuff like your Brooks Ghost, for example, uh, one of the, the, the best selling shoes on the market. Um, as you can sort of see, this, this blue uh, line here on the, on the sole and the cushion in here, um, that comes up just your foot actually sits sort of where the white ends so that comes up a little bit inside and that just gives that little bit of stability to that shoe and uh, so someone who has maybe one foot they slightly over pronate due to um, ligament damage and things like that on, on one ankle or something and um, you know but the other foot doesn't and so a support shoe would be too over corrective something like uh, the Brooks Ghost and um, where it's got that sort of bit of support while being a neutral shoe you know it, it's gonna work and um, you get that a lot in the Hoka shoe, in the Hoka shoes because they sit inside that cushioning, not on top of the cushioning. Again, a similar way to the way that, that bit of the blue um, and the white work, cushioning work together on the Ghost. Um, and then again, through your, your on shoes, because they're not specifically designed to be structured sort of support shoes, um, you know, if you're a neutral runner but you want lots of cushioning, then the Cloud Stratus is the max cushion shoe. If um, you know you don't want as much cushioning and things like that, and you want a lightweight sort of shoe, but you still need that little bit of structure and stability in there, then the Cloud Flow has a nice heel cup, uh, heel counter, and um, that'll give you that sort of that structure and everything like that in there. Uh, so that's a, a neutral and support shoe. In terms of, I see a lot of people question saying, you know, I've been to a certain shop and things like that, um, you know, not a specialist running store, and they've sort of said, um, I need a cushion shoe, uh, or I need a, um, a cushion support shoe and things like that and, and, and stuff. Um, or they even, you know, they get the word cushion mixed up with support. Um, so there's a neutral and a cushion shoe. Um, and that cushion shoe, they're trying to describe that as the support shoe. Well, a cushion shoe just means it's got cushion in it. Um, it's not, it doesn't have to be supportive, it doesn't have to be neutral. Um, you know, it's just cushioned. Um, so when you're looking at that, you, you're generally looking at the stack height within the cushioning. So, you know, a racing flat, for example. So let's get our New Balance uh, racing flat here, the uh, New Balance 1400. As you can see, you know, there's not a huge stack height on that shoe. It, it, in terms of its cushion, it's relatively small. There isn't a lot there. Um, but then you go to something like 
complete other other spectrum of it. The Hoka Bondi, you know, huge stack height on that. That you know, that's all cushion there. Yeah, you're going to be your foot's going to be sat there, and that's going to be that grayer um, material on the outside. The cushion is going to be sort of wrapping around the foot a little bit. That provides that stability again, even though it's a neutral shoe on the instep. But that's a max sort of cushion shoe. Um, you know, that's that's neutral. You can go max cushion in a support shoe, and that's your transcend. So, you know, what you're really looking for is your, are you a neutral runner, or do you over pronate in a certain way, or even over supinate around that heel area, and therefore need that structure and that stability built into the shoes. And if so, you know, we've got in the shop, the way we line it out, is we have our support shoes first, our neutral shoes next, and you know, we can pick out the shoes from there, and try and there's many different brands within, that, within those two categories to try and find what works for you. All right, so that's a neutral stability shoes, and um, I'll see you in the next video when we'll look at um, the various sort of shoes within those categories. So stuff like everyday trainers, racing flats, spikes, trail shoes, um, you know, recovery day shoes and things like that. All right, okay, see you for now.